Now we're joined by Mark Johnson from the U.S. Army Public Health Center. Mark, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. What are some of the challenges that the military is facing with identifying toxicants? There's a variety of challenges. From the public health perspective, um, right now we're really currently involved in looking at phased approaches to help address questions regarding toxicity more efficiently and effectively, particularly for new chemicals, for new compounds, do a better job of alternative screening and trying to find substances that we know uh, can be used effectively to complete the mission, but also um, not cause adverse harm to human health or the environment. How has the military been approaching how they identify toxicity? What we really try to be doing is, is to uh, use new and better tools, new methods to try to do um, understand toxicity uh, quicker, faster. Uh, there's so many chemicals out there to look at. Using some of the conventional approaches is really infeasible. And so uh, the science is progressively progressing incredibly rapidly. There's new approach methods. Um, we're trying to understand the mechanism better. We're trying to use uh, correlates of toxicity for other chemicals that are in similar in structure and moieties uh, to try to maybe make extrapolations from data we already have, um, trying to incorporate um, methods such as ligand binding assays, um, trying to understand neurotoxicity better, um, developmental toxicity, cancer, and so forth. Why is it important that the military be able to categorize these toxicants? Uh, because if we don't have a fit force in the field, uh, we can't perform our mission, clear and simple. Um, uh, it, it, would, it just does not work if, if we're using a weapon system, a platform, an energetic, like an explosive, a pyrotechnic, or a smoke, and, and our people get harmed in the process. They will not be able to perform their duties. Um, more than that, uh, there's not just the military that may be potentially, potentially exposed. Some of these substances we use in the environment, such as explosives, such as pyrotechnics and smokes, as I mentioned, and so we got to be sure we can use these things sustainably. That we can uh, be on our ranges as much as we need to be uh, to do the job we need to do to train the way we fight. Thanks for joining us today, Mark. Oh, you bet. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Mm -hmm.